Okay, so here I have a brand new Compact Logix L1 processor. It's part of the 5370 series from Rockwell Automation. And here I have a standard USB cable. It has an A and B end, and uh, this would be something very common you'd find plugged into a printer. So today we're going to use that to connect up to our Compact Logix for the first time. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to start up RS Lynx Classic. So let me go ahead and do that. See it right there. And here we have RS Lynx Classic. I'll go ahead and maximize it. Now let's go ahead and plug in the USB cable to the front of our Compact Logix, just like this. Okay, got that in there. Now we'll plug the other end into our laptop like this. And now we'll take a look at RS Lynx and see what happens. And we can hear Windows making some noises. And we can see down in the bottom, it's installing driver software. Looks like it found the Rockwell Automation USB SIP device. And you can see it shows up right inside of RS Links. We'll go down to USB. And here we can see our L16. And I'll open that up. And here we can see the back plane, let's see, we got some built-in I.O. and uh, the processor and no added I.O. on the side of it. And that's it. That's all it takes to connect to your L16 or your Compact Logix 5370 using USB.